I'm Shoshana, and I'm about to start a new costume project. And this one is going to be called my Ivory A Suit project. Now, this fabric right here is an Egyptian fabric that was invented, I think, in like the 1920s, very Art Deco. And it's a see through mesh. I believe it's cotton, or, or you know, modern stuff might actually be other fibers as well. And traditionally, it was. Um, it had silver foil in strips that were folded into the mesh. And uh, people in the city of Asut in Egypt made it. But if you go to the city of Asut, they won't know what you mean when you ask for a suit fabric. You would call it tulle by telly. Um, and that's, that's what they call it there. But anywhere else in the world, if you say a suit fabric, they will probably know what you mean. Most typically, it comes in black with silver, but I found these beautiful two panels in ivory that come in a variety of, of uh, widths. These are both folded in half widthwise. Um, this one's narrower. And they have different patterns on them. And the edges will tend to have a very pretty border, and then they'll have something very consistent that goes throughout. That's this border, very pretty. And, um, you know, people make, a, make belly dance costumes out of a suit. And here is my, a couple of sketches that I made of some of my design concepts. So I'm going to have a panel skirt in the front and a panel skirt in the back. I'm going to make a, a pretty square bra, a, a belt set. Um, and the back will be cupped, of course, but it will be, you know, the lines will be pretty straight. And then I'm going to uh, make a, a bra and cover it in the suit fabric. And then I'm going to add pearls. I'm going to add drapes of pearls that are the same color ivory as the fabric. And so these are two design concepts I had. You can see the main difference is the way that the pearls are draped. And I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do, but those are two different ideas. And these are the materials that I have bought so far to work with. I found this really cool medallion sold at Michael's, but they only had three of them. And I haven't been able to find any more. So that kind of limits me that either I, you know, put one on the bra, one on the front, and maybe one on the back, or I put all three on the front, or maybe I try to simulate the look of these with other sew-on beads. And then it was difficult, believe it or not, finding pearls that were as close as possible to that shade of ivory. And I also found this fabric, which is a polyester, crinkle, satiny kind of fabric. It's a little shimmery. I don't know if that shimmer will show through when it's covered in a layer of a suit, but um, that's basically just as modesty, so that I'm not, you know, visibly naked <laughs> under the costume. And these are the bra cups that I'm going to use. They are my favorite base, the Fruit of the Loom, Fruit of the Loom Cotton Stretch Quick Change Convertible uh, Bra. And why do I use these? I use these because the backs are intentionally flimsy, so they have super engineered the cups to hold all of the stress of you know wearing this as a standard bra and it, it opens in the front so we've got a really strong underwire and we've got a really thick foam cup and they work at wonderfully as the bases for costumes so I have my sketch I've got my materials I've got my idea and I think I'm gonna start by constructing and covering the bra